the eyes have it. I call on members order of the day number one. Minus Court Consent and Relationships Legislation Bill, third reading. I call Joe Hayes. I move that the Minus Court Consent to Relationship Legislation Bill be now read a third time. Mr Speaker, it is with much privilege and pride and humbleness that I stand here today um, to take the first call of the third reading of the, court cons uh, the Minus Court Consent to Relationships uh, Legislation Bill. It has been a long time coming from its inception um, by Dr Jackie Blue sitting up in the gallery today. If it, was, it was her hard work that um, got the bill put into the biscuit tin and um, over the years since 2010 through to 2017 we waited for this bill to be drawn and it was drawn and I was the most fortunate uh, Member of Parliament to have my name on this bill. So Mr Speaker I want to um, thank Dr Jackie Blue for the work that she has done for her um, commitment um, to ensuring the safety of young girls and young boys that have come here to New Zealand to make New Zealand their home and for women overall throughout um, Aotearoa New Zealand, Mr um, Speaker. I also want to acknowledge the Shakti Women's Refuge in Auckland and their researcher um, back in 2010, uh, Priyanka Rada Krishnan, who is now a Member of Parliament for um, Labour. So I want to thank them for bringing um, the attention of young girls' um, forced marriage issue to the table and to Dr Blue. I want to um, acknowledge the 30 submitters that came to the Select Committee and put forward um, their submission on this bill and also advisers, Parliamentary Council and most importantly I want to thank um, the Justice Select Committee, something that we thought would have a bill that we thought would um, go through a fairly smooth process. We had our ups and downs, but together we um, got this bill through to today, uh, Mr Speaker. My biggest um, thanks goes to the Commonwealth Women Parliamentarians who have, yeah, who have um, stood by this bill, Dr Blue being one of the very first um, chairs of the Commonwealth Parliamenta uh, Women Parliamentarians, and um, who have continued to stand by this, um, the passage of this bill um, through to um, tonight. And to all of the parties in the House, this is an amazing evening um, tonight as we um, bring through the House this piece of legislation. So, um, as I said, we had some ups and downs and changes within the bill, and just a couple of the, the main provisions as to why the bill went from its former name of um, Minors Court Consent to Marriage Legislation Bill was because we altered um, a, a couple of other um, bills, um, acts as well. And so the main provisions of this bill, it re replaces section 18 to 20 of the Marriage Act 1955 to require consent to the marriage from a family court judge. Um, the application, and I am reading this, Mr. Um, Mr Speaker, because it's right that I should read this um, to get it correct. The application must be considered through a family court hearing and must hear from the applicant to the 16 or 17-year-old themselves and their parents so far as reasonably practicable. Applicants and witnesses may be represented by a lawyer. No members of the public or media may be present. The court can hear any evidence, even if it would otherwise be inadmissible in a court of law. And secondly, the bill also amends section 46, clause 3 of the Care of Children Act 2004. The amendments um, ensure the right in section 43 for a child to seek review of their parents or guardian's decision or refusal to give consent. Um, does not apply for consent to civil unions or entry to de facto relationships. And that's why this bill's name was changed to its current, um, current name. Mr um, Speaker, my contribution um, will, be, will be brief because there are so many others that would like to also um, add their contributions to it. But as I said today, today is a celebration for all women, not just parliamentarians. It signals that once again, women take back through legislation their right to choose, to, to choose whom they wish to love and spend the rest of their lives with without force or pressure. It provides a legal mechanism whereby a family court judge makes the final decision on whether the marriage can go ahead. 
And it falls in a most um, poignant year, really, where we um, in Aotearoa New Zealand celebrate 100 and the 125 years of women's suffrage. And um, that is really important, especially for this bill that's coming through, where women gain the right to vote. Mr Speaker, I came to Parliament so I could make a difference and for the constituency of um, New Zealand to help shape legislation um, for this country. And today I am privileged to stand in the House and say that through this, my very first bill, Members' Bill, this process for me has begun. Um, I close my speech. As I said, it was going to be short, sharp, sweet, to the point. I close my speech with a somewhat altered whakatauke, and I just want to acknowledge um, my parliamentary colleagues and their support, and I mean all of our parliamentary colleagues. And so what I have done with the whakatauke, I have added some threads to this whakatauke, so it incorporates all of us. So the threads include all the colours of the political parties of this House. So with the forbearance of this House and with Iwi Māori, who, who um, uh, wrote this whakatauke, I just want to um, go through. Mā kahurangi, mā whero, mā pango, mā kākariki, mā kōwhai, ka oti ai te mahi. With blue, red, black, green and yellow threads, our work has been done. I commend this bill to the House. Tēnā koutou kāpū. Uh, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Te mangai o te whare. I call Lewis O'Wall. Uh, tēnā koe te mangai o te...